water quantity and demand. Okay, if you look at uh, this uh, table, for Johorian, okay, they are using 214 liter per person, okay, per day. Okay, CAP is actually capita and capita is person. So, 214 liter per person per day. This is the amount of water that you use every day, okay? Each and every one of us are using 214 liter per person per day. So, how much can you bring in a day? Two liter. Two liter. At yeah, the most, probably five if you, if you really want to bring water or water. Okay? So, not very much. So, let's say uh, you are drinking 14 liters per day, just to make it uh, our calculation simple. That means about 200 liters has been used. So, where did the water go? Okay? So that 200 liter is actually involved in washing, cleaning, taking bath, and so on. So how do we estimate the quantity of water by using this formula? Okay, uh, KAP is actually um, uh, the amount of water, water per capita per day, which is equal to Q divided by P, and Q is our quantity of water, Okay, volume of water supplied to the area divided by the population of the area. Okay, let's say they are giving you 1 million liter to Johor Bahru. So we need to know the population in Johor Bahru. Perhaps uh, 100,000 for instance. Okay, so you have to divide that. Then only you can calculate the amount of water being used by a person. And the unit will be in liter per person per day or liter per capita per day. Normally, 200 liter per person per day is being used for by everyone. But again, it depends on place and time. In Asia, perhaps we tend to use a lot of water. We tend to take bath a lot. Okay, perhaps in the morning we take bath and then in the afternoon because it's so hot like me wearing this coat. Okay, but in actual fact that in my room here, my air condition is not working it's extremely hot okay nonetheless just to make sure uh, to look a uh, very proper lecturer like a very proper lecturer and that's why that's why i'm wearing a coat here okay so probably after this i will take another bath and we, um, before uh, margaret also take another bath so that's why you're using a lot of water and then uh, at people in the city center normally they probably use higher uh, water because of uh, that's been used for uh, so many things for processing for industrial compared to the suburban okay this is kind of amount of water and rural okay they don't really use uh, treated water well perhaps because of they don't get water treatment well okay so they so the, the amount of treated water is probably uh, smaller than the people live in city and heavy industries okay normally uh, heavy industries will be using 45,000 liter per hectare per day okay 45,000 liter per hectare per day and for light industries like uh, such as i don't know can you give an example of light industries probably processing crepe or something okay it's just it's very small light industries so they are using uh, 22,000 liter per hectare per day okay heavy industries like automotive industries they are using probably higher uh, amount of water it's not probably it's uh, definitely higher than the light industries right so what are the factors uh, affecting the water usage the first one is economic level of the consumer okay so economic level of the consumer um you know, people, rich people may, wouldn't mind paying a very expensive water bill. So they probably would, uh, you know, can use water as much as they like. Uh, some people who are probably not that well off, they don't want to use a lot of water because, you know, you, they have to pay high bills. So probably they, they are using less water. But again, it depends on the education. Okay? Sometimes even though they are rich people, they are highly educated, they are thinking about sustainability, so they tend to preserve the water. That should be the attitude, regardless whether you are rich or poor. Okay, they probably like to uh, preserve the water. 
So another factor that can affect the usage of water is water tariff. Just uh, for your information or as a guess, which of the states, since we have, uh, we live in different states, right? So can anyone give me a guess um, in which state that the water tariff is the cheapest one? And which one, uh, in which state that the water tariff is the most expensive? Expensive Johor. Expensive Johor, okay. I got an answer from Shami. Anyone else? The cheapest? Sarawak. Sarawak is another guess. Any other guess? So are we in agreement that uh, the most expensive could be Johor and cheapest is Sarawak? Okay, let's find out whether that's true or not, okay? Right. So look, the most expensive one is Johor. Okay, Shami was correct. So no <laughs> doubt about it, Johor is, has the most expensive water, okay? And the cheapest one is actually in Pera. Okay? If you remember, uh, I think someone lives in Pera. There was two guys just now. It was Hui Hui and also Jia, Jia, Jia Huan, is it? Oh, what's your name again? Um, Jia Huan. Jia Huan, okay? Yeah. Uh, so do you realize that, that your state has the cheapest water ever in Malaysia? You don't realize that. So uh, do you know what's the bill? like in jo in Pera per month uh, 30 uh, something know. okay 30 they something uh, uh. you don't know oh i thought you could say renda <laughs> so you don't but the bill i think is actually for two one months right yeah, yeah. yeah it's for two months imagine people for two one months month, yes. 30 something is very cheap okay let's ask people in Johor who live in Johor like Huda so do you know your, your water bill per month? Yes. How much is it? I can't reveal because it's too much. Oh my. <laughs> I wouldn't mind revealing it. Okay. Right, what about uh, you, Tami? Uh, less than 20 ringgit per month. Your bill? Yes. That's very impressive. What have you done with your water then? Less than 20 ringgit? Where yeah. do you live, by the way? You live in, in the hostel, is it? Nope, uh, company quarters. Oh, okay. So you don't pay for the bill, I suppose. I pay for the bill. Oh, okay. And less than 20 ringgit. That's very expensive. Dyla, you live in Johor also? Yes. Uh, Do you know the bill? Oh, yep. I know the bill, but 20 ringgit for me is quite, it's impossible, man. What do you mean? Is it expensive or is it cheap? Yeah. Just now, Xiaomi said he, 20 ringgit, I think it's damn cheap. Yeah, I don't know how he, how, how, how he does that. It's, it's too too cheap to be in your hall <laughs> for me. Yep. Okay, so what's your, what's your bill? It's normally, because I'm in a family of, for currently in Johor, is family of three, is about 40 to 60, I think. 40 to 60, okay. I don't know whether you guys can see my bill. Can you see my bill over here? Okay, this is the latest bill, I uh, guess. Doctor, your webcam. For how long that I have not been? Uh, just a while. Head? Just a while. Oh, okay. Yep. Sorry about that. Uh, can you see the numbers? I do not know whether people can see the numbers. You know, I wouldn't mind revealing the number. Can you guys see? Yes, 107 ringgit. And I do not know how can someone can, you know, just pay a bill for about 20 ringgit per month. Okay. So that's the difference between uh, people living in Johor and also in Perak. But nonetheless, we also have a Shami who pays very little in Johor. So I said it, you guys. Okay. Hey, what? Uh? Yeah, the bill. Eh? Over there? Yeah, the bill. Sahir. This is my bill. So how did you do that? Tell me then. What's the secret? I don't know. I just... I, I, I don't know, I just wa use water when I need only. Okay, is it also happening in your dad's house? Because I know your dad. <laughs> <laughs> my dad, I'm not sure because this is my bill. Every month less than 20 ringgit. Is there something wrong with the meter perhaps? I don't know. I, I'm not sure because because I'm I'm living in a quarter so I didn't um, wash my car. Oh, okay. okay. I, 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 I didn't do gardening. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, good. Nothing much can be said then. And then the efficiency of the water supply also can affect, okay, can affect the water usage. 
you see imagine if you have uh, broken pipes so that the water cannot be supplied okay so it affect the water usage okay by the consumer and then the last part is the climate okay so European country perhaps the climate is a bit colder compared to the uh, the Asian people or people who live it at the equator like us so we try to cool off our ourselves by taking more showers compared to people at the uh, temperate country so that's probably also a factor usage of the water so that's it I think that I want to comment on the factors affecting water usage